Hello and welcome to the new episode of Stan Muffin YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to import reference images in Blender. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways how to import reference images in Blender. The first one is go to add and go to image and select the reference and go to your select reference image and in here actually if you look at the right side we see the align to weave option right there in here if you select your reference image and align to view and checked like this and load reference image and as you can see we have weirdly shaped actually image came to our C so we don't want to do that right click and delete it and go to add and image reference and select your reference image and here actually we need to uncheck this box and click the load reference image and as you can see perfectly actually our reference image imported in blender so i'm select this image and move the reference image like here and we have a second option to do that in this case we need an add-on to do that go to edit preferences go to add on section in here go to filter just write image in here and check this box import images as planes and quit this preferences and file import under the import we see images as planes let's get just look at their actual explanation create a mesh planes from image files with appropriate aspect ratio if I select this and select the reference image like here, import images as planes. Let's get just click here. And as you can see, I don't see anything in my scene right now. And how we can fix? We need to change our scene properties. On the right side, we can see we've put shading in here, material preview, right? And if I click this, I can perfectly see my reference image and let's get just scale a little bit so what is the difference of two actually objects let's get find them the first one is just image and you can see also solid view but on the left side we can see just a plane and we cannot see anything why because images as a planes just works in this actually creates planes just perfect ratio from your reference image and take that actual reference image to give this mesh a material so we cannot see in this solid view but we can see in material preview as you can see and second one is you cannot actually distract this kind of image objects but you can actually work on these planes how we can do go to z axis and we can see perfectly go to viewport overlays and just uncheck this two box floor and grid and also go to edit mode and as you can see on the left side go to loop cut and give any kind of loop cut and also hold your left mouse button in here i'm just making loop cut two of loop cut here like this and also i don't need this part so i'm just delete two vertices right click and delete vertices and as you can see i have just two different actually floor plan so go to object again as you can see in the reference image we can just split them to different object go to again in edit mode and go to face selection mode just select one of them right click and separate this will be actually helps you to create this kind of actually object another one is this so i'm just going to edit mode to object mode and in here right click set origin to geometry and select this one right click and also set origin to geometry and now we have two different images as you can see but on the right side we cannot actually distract this object as you can see we have just object mode so why because this is 
on the right side outliner you can see this is just image uh, we have a different kind of advantages and also disadvantages to different actually reference image to work the first one is actually you cannot work with the on the left side you cannot work on the solid mode but you can work with on the right side as an image let's get just changing our material preview to see two of them and and i'm going to show you second tips in actually reference image and as you can see i don't know what is their actually uh measures so go to in here measure and measure any kind of place okay this scale is not true right i'm just actually add any cube in here and scaling a little bit and just moving any kind of actually place but i know this room's actually area right this is a three square meters in toilet so i'm just moving my object in here and as you can see if i make an edit mode i cannot see anything i cannot use toggle x-ray mode in here so how we can actually work with them go to viewport overlays and actually we are in edit mode go to viewport overlays and actually check the hidden wire so then i'm just changing my selecting mode to vertex and let's get just work with them and like that and let's get just changing our mode to object mode and see what is the actually objects area go to item and as you can see it's 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 and i know that the toilet area actually three square meters i'm just changing my dimension to actually this object but not this time and i select two of my objects before we do right click and join right now and then separate them no problem just select your object and also the last one might be your object the scalable object right click and parent and object and now i'm just select my object again to just make in dimension just one two three and it's done it's actually perfectly three square meters but for now i'm just select the same sequence of my objects the first one is actually floor plans and shift on your keyboard and select your object again the last one must be actually last selected and right click and parent go to clear and keep transformation so it's keep their transformations okay just click it and as you can see i have a perfectly matched plan in here and now you can actually start your modeling because it is true as you can see on the right side is the same thing let's get actually same thing in this but before we do i'm just matching in here to toilet just scale and in this site actually go to edit mode and just select this spaces and it's done so go to object mode again and the first one might be image and press shift on your keyboard and select your object again right click and parent object same thing and select your object again go to dimensions on the right side press n on your keyboard item dimensions one and three and again just select your image first and second object and right click clear and keep transformation and also you have a perfectly matched planes in here so thank you for watching me if you liked the video please like comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you next time